Hey guys, so that was my 25 cents, or I think it was 35 cents uncommon haul. Uh, some, you know, a few dollars, but it was via four different stores, so keep that in mind when you go ahead and do it. And it was like 20 plus hours. So here's my Princess Cube. Very beautiful card, Nightmare. Uh, this is my favorite Nightmare because it doesn't look as creepy as the other versions of Nightmare. This card is insanely expensive and I just had to take it. So I figured, hey, you know, I'm just gonna take cards from my tray binder. Originally I was gonna trade for them, but like something like this, no one has. No one's gonna have a foil version of this champion. It's just not happening. And yes, do I want a copy of this in my deck? Yes, of course. This is one of the reasons I would make the Princess Q. But is anyone gonna have a copy of it? For trade, the answer is no. I'm trying not to spend as much money as possible on my cube, but it will. It's, it's going to come down to me spending money, so I can't prevent that. Obviously, I'm very excited for the new Falia, but this is the original Falia. I have a Japanese foil, I have a Korean foil, but one of the things I feel like about cube is some of the cards are just so strange that I don't want to have any international cards in it. It's not like a bias against international cards. It's just that I would prefer if people, um, if the, my friends, a lot of them don't play Magic very much anymore and extremely casual kitchen table players, they could read the cards that they're playing with because they might not have seen cards like that before. Soulbound is pretty good. Mortals Resolve, it's a very beautiful piece of artwork in my opinion. Um, moments piece. I always like. I've always liked this. I've always liked moments piece. And if you check up the price in this one, you will be surprised. This is a pricey card, and again, it's one of those cards that no one has to trade. And you're left with either I have to buy it or I can pull it from my own binder. Foil Armageddon. Armageddon is a very good card. To my knowledge, this is the only foil copy of it. And part of the, this cube is it should be all foil. Gift of Estates, a very, very good card. Chandra. I love Chandra. Um, one version of Chandra, I think it's enough. Maybe I don't think I'm going to do multiple versions of the same Planeswalker. Seems a little too much. I am looking at Tamiyo is like ridiculous. Tamiyo is like $60. I was like, what? Foil Tamiyo is $60. I went online, tried to buy one, and it was like $67. I was like, uh, <laughs> this cube is going to be expensive. So I'm trying to um, at least bulk it up and then figure out what are the expensive pieces I can do without or I cannot do without. Tamiyo's, I'm going to eventually have to trade for or buy Tamiyo. I'll probably buy her because no one has a foil copy of her. Maya, the anima, love her. Banish the Priest. And Night of the Rel Reliquary. I chose this one. I like this artwork uh, slightly better. Uh, it is from the dual deck. And in my opinion, it's a little cooler. It's, you know, horses, right? Horses and princesses. Uh, ponies and princesses. Um, yeah, so probably I'm going to have to spend money uh, on the next step. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there. But already I realized that... A cube is not cheap and it's not really easy to trade for, especially if you're trading for a foil cube of specific cards. Like I need to get one of these in foil. That is going to be really difficult to trade. No one's going to have one of these to trade for in foil. So I'll probably make a trade binder video or I'll make like, a, I have trade binder videos. Maybe I'll make a list of all the cards I want in foil for my cube. And then you can look at my old trade binders and then you can trade for it. Obviously, Tamiyo is probably number one right now because I had a foil Tamiyo, but then so did it. Which, you know, if you watched my previous video about EDH, not this week, but last week, it was real bad. <laughs> it was real bad. I don't know. I, I, I took my binders to GP and just, you know, the vendors just shred my binders, which I obviously allowed them to do because I was like, oh, cool, I won't need a foil Tamiyo. <laughs> I had to rebuy into that. Anyway, bye guys.